pretty sure I know what these are, I'm not gonna lie, but I ha I'm excited to unbox these. Okay. Boom, it's, hey, I did not, whenever these came out, I Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. So I got some fire shoes that came in, I don't know what they are, so we're going to unbox them together. So yeah, drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell down below and let's get right into this video. I'm not going to hold no time, let's go. Alright bet, this is the first box that we're going to unbox, so I'm just going to get right into this video. I got another, a couple other boxes actually, but I'm not sure if I'm going to unbox them in this video. I'm not sure how many shoes is in this box, so we, we're just going to find out. It looks about two, but hey, let's see. Okay, bet. Got one side open. I could already see a SP box. All right, bet we got. All right, I kind of hinted what is in this box. I see an SP, but hey, y'all yeah, see what's going on. SP box in there. Let's go ahead and get them out. Boom. I, I think I know what this is. I'm not going to lie, but yes, sir. Hey, it looks like this came from California Street. I'm not sure. It looks like this came from like out of the country or something, but I bought it from someone in the country. So yeah. Dope, I mean, dope, uh, well, cream sale box, nothing too crazy. Looks like it got stains though on the box, which is a little bit iffy, but that ain't no big deal for real. But it does look like they got stained up, but anyways, clean, it's in good condition, good box. So let's go ahead and unbox and see what these are. Pretty sure I know what these are, I'm not gonna lie, but I ha I'm excited to unbox these. Okay, boom, it's a hey, I did not, whenever these came out, I remember I took an L on the sneakers app just like I did this morning on the birdies. I dislike the sneakers app heavily, but I think everyone can agree on that. Sneakers app is just so bad because, you know, there's thousands, tens of maybe 100,000 people going for a shoe, especially those Verdi SPs. Go check out my recent videos on the Verdi's. Let's go ahead and unbox this shoe. We ain't gonna talk about all that. But hey, sneakers app, not good. Anyways, I remember going for these Albino. Y'all could see, I, I kind of just, uh, I mean, if you know, you know, this is the Albino Prado uh, SBs and they come in this cool box. They dropped at all skate shops. I, I was into sneakers. Uh, this is like when I like really was getting into sneakers. These came out like 2023. I could be wrong, but let me fact check and see when it came out. Okay, but yeah, these came out 2023. It says 923, so I'm pretty sure that's like September. Uh yeah, that's yeah, it's September. So yeah, it's literally this month. Literally came around, literally came out around this time last year. So yeah, that's when I was really getting the shoes again. So yeah, these pretty dope box comes in like a sandwich box type. I remember uh, a lot of skate shops posting these up. Even like skate shops, just like everywhere we're getting these. So yeah, these are pretty you know easy to get, but they're hitting for they're hitting pretty heavily, like in bigger sizes. Let me look. Okay, right now this nine and a half is going for around two thirty, which it was whenever I bought the shoe. So last set was two twenty nine. So I got this shoe for you know just enough to make a little profit margin. I know this pair will go up too, so I don't mind holding on to it. But it's a nine and a half. Really, uh, SBs that really go up over time is like ten and a half and up. Honestly, those really go up. Like a size fifteen of these is going for seven hundred dollars. Last set was eight hundred bucks in this pair. Crazy size fifteen. Like oh my gosh, that's crazy. Imagine getting a size fifteen birdie right now. I'm pretty sure that's probably like ask is like probably five bands on that right now. I could be wrong though. I don't know, I don't feel like checking that right now. But anyways, we're talking about the Prados. Like a 12 right now on these is going for 300. Size 13, my personal size is going for 367. Only nine left on stock X. So this pair is actually getting pretty limited. There wasn't that many that came out. I remember stock numbers was like 30K. I remember are on this pair. I'm pretty sure like on the sneakers app. I don't know if that was worldwide, but yeah, let's go ahead and unbox them. As you can see, it says Jiu Jitsu. It's like a Jiu Jitsu uh, uh, brand, which did the collab with the shoe. So it's this category, Jiu Jitsu, men's shoe. Yes, oh, not men's shoe, but it says like meat skate. Okay, Jiu Jitsu, meat skate. Nike SB times Albino Prado season uh, A23 means like 2023. Uh, Dunk Low Pro says all like you know all the uh, model information, all that cool stuff, and then it says at the end mats don't lie, uh, teamwork or something like that. So yeah, pretty fire box. Let's go ahead and unbox them. Okay, boom, super dope. Look at this. It comes in like a sandwich box, which is super dope. Pretty sure. Let me see if there's anything else in this uh, box. Probably like this SB sticker. Cool. I don't see the SB sticker. Hey, y'all better. Whoever sold me these better not take the SB sticker. But anyways, uh, yeah. Go ahead and unbox it. The Albino and Prados. These are super dope. Really, really dope. I remember seeing these whenever they came out. They come with a bunch of extra laces. So yeah, it comes with a purple lace. Comes with a white pair of laces. Comes with a black pair of laces. Comes with this, uh, this I don't know, kind of like the same color that's on this pair. So pretty nice. Comes with even a light blue color laces, which probably looks good on this pair. And when you skate these, so this is actually a really good pair to skate because they don't go for crazy money unless you wear like a size 10 and a half and up. Like I said, like nine and a half right now, they only go for 230. So, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't hurt to skate them if you are a skater. I mean, it has a cool under tearaway, which people were doing that. I, I can't stand when people like take a razor and tear it open. Like, 
that's meant for skaters, man. If you don't skate, just don't worry about what's under there. You know, this this rock the shoe out is, but no, I'm just playing. You can do whatever you want with your shoe, but I'm not definitely gonna do that. Come on now. Even on the Nike swoosh, it tears away. So pretty nice. Has this cool stripe detail on the swoosh. Then it has like a cool cream, um, like cream colorway. So really nice. Has this little stitching that goes over the shoe. You can tell there's like definitely an under layer on this pair. Nothing crazy, really simple pair, but really nice at the same time, honestly. This is a good pair you can wear on the daily. I remember seeing like people doing on feet to these. Oh yeah, the insole is actually really dope too. It has like a camo-ish uh, detail on the inside. So that's really dope. It has like a camo, yeah, definitely like a camo, colored camo in the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, really dope pair, nothing too crazy. You can see on like, you can kind of see like red on the Nike swoosh on the inside. So you know the Nike swoosh definitely tears away, like does color, like colors kind of like on the inside. But yeah, I feel like the laces, which is a cool detail. Whenever you skate this pair, you'll start to see blue come up underneath the panels and stuff like that. And then that's when you could put on like a pair of blue laces on there and it'll look good on the pair. But the only thing uh, if you buy skate shoes is, I know this cause I used to skate, is like whenever you skate them like heavily and they like make a fat hole right there whenever you know, hitting ollies and stuff like that. Well not just ollies, if you're really you're skating, you're probably hitting kick flips, all that good stuff. But you know, once the hole gets really big, it's just like impossible to skate the shoe, like even, uh, like skate the shoe really because like you know I used to know this whenever uh, I'd skate a shoe a lot it would just like hurt my like I would get blisters on my feet from uh, continuing to like skate in shoes that have like big holes right there because whenever I you know ollie or whatever heel flip it would just hurt like if you know you know but yeah really nice pair of Nike SB I'm gonna get into the next pair here soon nothing too crazy I've been wanting to get these though so I'm glad I got a pair of these they aren't my size unfortunately but honestly I'd, if I got my size in these for a solid deal, I'd probably flip them. I'm not gonna lie, because they're going for like almost 400 bucks in my size. So yeah, I don't skate anymore. But hey, if I if I still skated, which you never know, I might pick up a board here and there. I mean, I just don't really have time to right now. I mean, I do, but I prefer to put my time elsewhere. But yeah, the only thing uh, this is supposed to be like a DS pair on the bottom. It almost looks a little bit tried on, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe that's just like from the factory. I'm not sure. It has like white stuff in the panels. But yeah, black bottom. Cool little inside has that camo, has that Albano Prado and the Nike SB logo on the inside. Really nice pair. Says so Dunk Low Pro. Nothing cool. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a blooper, but yeah, I'm gonna put these up and we're gonna get the next pair. This pair fell into the box, which I didn't even see. That also comes with orange laces. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of extra laces. So that's crazy. Yeah, I just wanna add that little detail in. So yeah, next shoe. Okay, bet the last pair of, well, not the last pair, but the last pair of the, in this box. I might, you know, end off the video after I unbox the shoe, as you can see. Uh, Y'all yeah, probably know what's in this box. They just restocked these, which kind of really hurt the uh, market on these. I was like kind of glad to have a 12 and a half in these, but now 12 and a half, I don't know. A bunch of, uh, I mean, I don't want to uh, offend anyone, but a bunch of Mickey resellers ha have tanked the 12 and a half market. 12 and a half in this shoe should not be going less than other sizes right now. 12 and a half right now is like 250. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's like 250 and a 12 and a half. It was 300 bucks prior to the restock, so I don't know who's throwing up 12 and a half for 250, but that's crazy. But anyways though, size nine, Jordan four. Let's see what this is. As you can kind of tell by the box, it is the white thunder in a size nine, I'm pretty sure. Yep, size nine, Jordan four white thunder. Really nice pair, cannot go wrong with this color blocking, you know, the thunder color blocking. I do see these doing pretty well over time, but right now they're hitting for around like 240. This is sizing over like 250, really like 248 to be exact. And then uh, it goes up, like really they're ranging from like 230 in some sizes that are bad, and then up to like 260. So yeah, uh, Jordan 4 White Thunders have really been tanked since they just restocked them. They did like a pretty good restock on them, but yeah. Jordan 4 White Thunder, can't go wrong. I definitely see these doing pretty well near Christmas time, so I definitely hold on to it. Jordan 4, when in, when in doubt, buy Jordan 4s. Uh, sometimes, you know, not all Jordan 4s. Obviously, there's ones like the Medium Craft, Olives, like certain ones are just bricking under retail, unless you can get them like really under retail. It doesn't make sense to buy, but yeah. Cool um, canvas on this pair. I, did, I already did a review on this pair, so go check out that review. But yeah, got a cool little pair in. Um, couple pairs in here. Got the White Thunders and the Albino Prado SBs. So yeah, just wanna do a quick unboxing. Before y'all drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell. I don't want to make this video too, too long. So I think that's really all I had to talk about. If you do want to see more up close details on these white thunders, go check out my review I did on these on my channel. So yeah, stay tuned for more fire videos. And I think I'm gonna end off the video here. Well, let me see. I might unbox another box, but I think I'm just gonna end it off here, honestly. Let me see how long this video has been real quick. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna end off the video here. Make sure to drop a subscribe with notice so y'all can see the other boxes I have, which I'm gonna unbox here soon. I just don't want to make this video too, too long. It's already like 10 minutes long, I feel like. So yeah, drop a like, drop a sub. Like I already said, y'all know what to do. And yeah, peace.